Hello and welcome back. This is David from the Personal Finance Squad. We just left off in the video of 1.41, which was the savings vehicle for retirement where Jasper decided to put some money into his 401k account. By doing so, he is doing this with pre-tax income. Therefore, he does not have to take money out of his budget monthly to account for this. 1.42 is what we are doing next, which is the emergency fund. This is the first of the savings vehicles that we will go through as we develop the budget. The emergency fund is a very important aspect to the budget. And the reason is, is that in case something goes wrong, such as not having a job or you have a health problem or some sort of um, leave that you have to take, that means you're not making money to put into the budget and maintain your daily lives. This is not necessarily a hard number, it's just a guide, it's a gauge to say three to six months seems to fit for most people regardless of the situation. For example, if you have a job and you lose it, finding a job might take one week for you, it might take a month for somebody else, it might take three or six months for the other person. For example, if, uh, if you're in the oil industry right now, that might take you six months. So if you're a nurse, you probably could find a job within a week or two. So it just depends on who you are. When it comes to your health, that's unpredictable. So again, the three to six months is just a range that works for most people one way or the other, because at some point within that time frame, you're gonna have to get back to work. You gotta pay your bills. You have to think of it this way, such as uh, having a cup of coffee. If, uh, if that coffee is all your disposable income and you keep drinking, eventually that cup's gonna be empty. So every time a bill comes out and you don't have money coming in to match it, you just feel like it's pulling it away from you. Therefore, you can have that comfortability to know that if you have three or six months and you can get back on your feet, you'll be fine. So again, when we're talking about money, we're talking about the expenses that have to be paid. It's not anything else but, and that keeps the lights on, so to speak. So what we have to think about here is what is it that Jasper should do? How much money should he put away? So you can see right here, $2,735 is what his total expenses amount to. If we multiply that by the high end with six months, it's $16,410. So if we scroll down here a little bit, you can see the table here. We see monthly savings of $1,823 would obtain $16,410 in nine and a half months. Now that's certainly unachievable based on the money he makes, as is 18 months probably even 24 months. So the lowest here is 36. Again, he doesn't have to choose 36. If you're doing your budget, for example, and this was you, this does not have to be 36 for you. You have to do what works for you. However, in this case, Jasper's budget allows him to go to this number here and still be able to live comfortably and pay his bills. So purposes of this exercise, this is what we're going to choose for him. So we have 460 here. And at this point, if we take it off what he has remaining after his savings and expenses uh, at this point, that's $1,283. So again, it's very important to understand that all budgets are different. Everybody's income is different. Everybody's needs are different. So if you don't have an emergency fund, I really think it's important that you have one. However, how long it is that you take to get there can vary. Not everybody has the means, such as Jasper in this case. Maybe you can only come up with $100 or, or you're going to sacrifice in some of your other bills and maybe get less pay channels on your cable or something. You could start with all kinds of ways of uh, doing that. Uh, you could lower your grocery bill. Whatever it may be, at some point or another, you have to think about that. And it's easy not to because you think, oh, my health is pretty good, my job is stable, and you can get in that habit of not doing that. And all of a sudden, something hits and you don't have the money. So put that money away and develop something for your account that works. So if you're redoing your budget, you really have to think about that hard. If you're, you know, if you're a student doing this exercise in class right now, this is again a good guide to look at what Jasper's doing. And as we go through here, you will develop what that number should be. Okay, so that's gonna end this session. You can see right here that we are gonna go through 1.4 the savings account in our next video and we look forward to seeing you there.